So what is the most offensive joke that you've ever written? The, if only Africa had more mosquito nets, then every year we could save millions of mosquitoes from dying needlessly of AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I would love to be gay. I'll tell you why, because I'm a man's man. I like men. Men like me. We like each other. I hate women. <laughs> women hate me. We hate each other. The only reason I couldn't be gay is because I could never fuck a man. Because I could never fuck something that I respect. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good fucking joke, eh? That's a good joke. Shall I tell you what I'm like, what I'm like, Johnny? I think I can explain myself to you. When I was a wee boy, my granddad used to take me up into the loft. <laughs> he'd take down a chest they had up there. He'd open up the chest. Do you know what was in it? A mermaid. And he'd have me strip naked as a wee boy and make love to that mermaid on the floor while he watched for his sexual gratification. Now, years later, when the old bastard was dead, I went back up into the loft. I took down the chest and opened up. Do you know what I found in there? A dead monkey with its legs sewn together. <laughs> you remind me of that monkey, Johnny. I told this joke. Made sure the old people couldn't hear her. I went, okay. Father, sitting at home, just reading the newspaper. This little girl comes running in. She's only six. Hello, darling. Hello, daddy. You've been playing? Yeah. In the park? Yeah. With your friends? Well, until the man came along. Till the man came along? Yeah, a man came along. And he asked my friends to leave, so it was just me and him. Darling, come, come over. Oh, whatever happened, none of it was your fault, okay, darling? None of it was your fault. But tell daddy every detail. What happened? Um... He took me behind a tree so no one could see what you were doing. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Um, he took my dress off. Oh, God, what happened next? What happened? Um, he took his thing out. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Nothing, that was it. Oh, well, make something up. And, you know, uh, another thing people uh, uh, often say is, you know, why do we, in this country, why do we allow so many of our innocent kids to be shot to death? Why do we allow that as a country? You know, why do, well, not us, God. Why does God, <laughs> we have no control of the situation at all, it's all in God's hands. Why does God allow so many of our innocent kids to be shot to death? And, you know, they, I mean... <laughs> I know he has mysterious ways, y'all, but oh, dude, what is he thinking? What are you thinking, God? Taking on, I'm not questioning you, because I know you have your mysterious ways, and you are omnipotent, and I'm all wise, but it just seems like you're taking an awful lot of our children. I just, what are you thinking behind it? I just, whoa! It, it is, that's something that, that uh, a lot of people ask. You know, why is God uh, allowing so many of our innocent kids to be shot to death? And, I have a possible answer, and you're not going to like it. <laughs> but maybe, maybe, maybe God is allowing so many of our kids to be shot to death so that they can go to heaven where they then service the ISIS terrorists and suicide bombers as part of the 72 virgins they're rewarded with. <laughs> It's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs>